Insults are inherent to human nature. Remember being on the playground in elementary school and kids would call each other mean names? Ever played pretty much any online game ever? If so, you're probably familiar with insults. Every culture, every time period has them. Let's take a look at a few of them and how they've been used throughout history. Also, I'd like to know the best insult someone's ever said to you. If you have one, put it in the comments. Away you scullion, you rampallion, you fustilarian. I'll tickle your catastrophe. William Shakespeare. This statement <laughs> is so far from any type of English we speak today. So a, a scullion is basically a lowly servant. A rampallion, rampallion is just a, a scoundrel. And a fustilarian is another name for uh, like a commoner or a serf type person. And when someone says, I'll tickle your catastrophe, this more or less means that they're going to beat your ass. It's fascinating that words throughout time can change and morph to have other definitions and completely change what a sentence means. One sentence in one time period can be almost nonsensical in another. My hecking doggo is doing a cute. Shut the fuck up! The hag sedition was your mother, and perversity begot you. Mischief was your midwife, and misrule was your nurse, and unreason brought you up at her feet. No other ancestry in rearing had you. You freakish homunculus, germinated outside of lawful procreation. Playwright Henry Arthur Jones on Bernard Shaw and his anti-war stance. So translated, I think Henry Arthur Jones is calling Bernard Shaw some type of mutant born from illegal sex. I don't know what sex would be illegal, maybe bestiality, but maybe it's like a born out of wedlock thing. This was the early 1900s after all. But it seems like the whole thing is just a flowery way of saying that a person is a fucked up facsimile of a human. <laughs> just a real jerk. It's funny that this is used on a person that's anti-war, especially anti the first world war. I really think we should go back to using insults like this. Imagine political debates that involve calling someone a homunculus. Here are just a short couple insults that I found funny. May the fleas of a thousand camels infest your armpits. An old Arab curse. That's pretty self-explanatory, I think. May you melt off the earth like snow off the ditch. May you, <laughs> May you melt off the earth like snow off the ditch? Irish curse. It's kind of self-explanatory. And just telling someone to fuck right off, maybe? And here's a, a couple... <laughs> And here's a couple that are just insults against vegetables. <laughs> this one is Parsley is Garsley by Ogden Nash, who was an American poet in the early to mid 1900s. Cauliflower is nothing but cabbage with a college education. Mark Twain. I think everybody knows who Mark Twain is. But I think these guys would have really loved Reddit. Those are two uh, Reddit sentences for sure. The 100% American is a 99% idiot. Bernard Shaw. Hey, wait, what the fuck? Fuck this guy. You know, I was on his side against Henry Arthur, whatever, but fuck him now, I hate him. He is a homunculus. He's also an anti-American communist piece of shit fucking asshole. <sighs> In response to being called sexually impotent by Tristan Burgess, a representative from Rhode Island, John Randolph, a politician from Virginia, said this of Mr. Burgess. You pride yourself upon an animal faculty, in respect to which the slave is your equal, and the jackass, infinitely, your superior. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Mr. Randolph here is calling Burgess as dumb as a slave and dumber than a donkey. You know, politicians should go back to doing this, because I believe politicians should be as inflammatory and racist as possible. It is an American tradition, after all. I also support politicians beating the fuck out of each other, like in Taiwan. That shit's pretty rad. You know, I think more would get done if politicians could just duke it out. You know, there'd be less bureaucratic pussyfooting, just brute forcing bills and laws through sheer force of fist and will. Maybe one day. Teddy Roosevelt said then President William E. McKinley had a chocolate eclair backbone, pretty much insinuating that he was a gigantic pussy for not wanting to go to war with Spain in the late 19th century. It's funny to read about popular and powerful people being pro-US boots on the ground and insult anyone who disagrees with them. 
After the war on terror and the invasions of Iraq and Afghanistan, I feel like you don't really see many politicians saying we need to send troops somewhere, or at the very least, it's not mainstream anymore. I'm almost done, but I just wanted to leave you with this insult. It's more of a threat, but I think it fits the theme. It's filled with such passion and vitriol. It's not only a threat, but an insult to the psychic energy of the recipient. A member of the Canadian Parliament, Donald Smith, switched sides in the 1870s and opposed the Prime Minister of Canada, Sir John A. Macdonald. Sir John said this of Donald Smith, Just let me at him. I could lick that man quicker than hell would frizzle a feather. No comment needed. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. If you want more slop, please tickle my catastrophe. Have a good day. And as always, I'm a gay. I'll tickle your catastrophe. I'll tickle your, I'll tickle your, I'll tickle you, I'll fuck my fucking asshole.